Hi guys, welcome to this week's video blog. Now there's a few things that I should update you on. I know I said this time I would have an interview with a professional poker player, but unfortunately we haven't coordinated a time. The good news is that I will be able to do it when I'm in Prague. That's when you'll see an interview with the up and coming Edison Nguyen, who won a W Coupe bracelet in the Badugi event and he's now number one in Australia. Earlier this year, he was around 20 something. I'll have to check that. And he set himself a goal that he would become number one in Australia. And he's now done that and number 18th in the world. Have to check that as well. And he's aiming to get number one in the world for tournaments, uh, ranking on pocket fives. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Now my own personal poker goals, it has been crazy busy ever since I started working full time, including running the business. I've only been able to dedicate four or five hours a week, which is a Saturday morning, to poker. If I want to be a really, really good poker player, four hours a week probably isn't going to cut it. However, not to waste time, I do read a lot of books on the train. I finished Harrington's first volume of the tournament No Limit Hold'em. I'm up to the second one now so I'm very excited about reading that. I've organized some reading material for my trip which I will show you guys. Uh, Ted would you mind passing me the books? He's been a bit neglected. So I'm gonna read one about Google. I think it's good to... It, it's always interesting to find out how businesses become so big and how the work they put in, the hours, the struggles they had, the... I think there's a lot that you can learn from books and from people who have done it before. So this will be one of my reads. The other one is Purple Cow and these are business books of course. So while I'm over there I'll be working on business and playing a bit of poker and my law that I don't have to think about until next year. So next year is when I'll be working in a law firm. I know I said that I'll never do law, but unfortunately I need a way to sustain myself. And until I can make a living from either the business or poker, better, better get a job. At least that's solid. And I'm learning a lot in there as well. One thing that I've learned in life this year is before you say, nah, -uh, and you don't even know what it's about, which was what I was like when it came to the law thing. It's very different. There's a lot that I'm learning about business, commercial agreements, contracts, which, whoosh, but I think once I, if I continue learning and, and I think if I continue learning and reading, then I'll learn more about it and then I'll understand it. So I won't be completely lost to it if in the future I get a contract and I have no idea what's going on. Pretty excited about Prague and I'll probably go exploring a little bit by myself. And they say there's a lot of pickpockets there so be careful. So I have to be careful that I don't look like a fish when I'm out uh, traveling alone. In terms of poker, I have been playing like I mentioned before and I am still kind of in the money. Last week I got my bankroll up to 146, which was good. Before that it was on 120. This week I played seven tables, or today I made seven tables and I final tabled three. Unfortunately there were nine, five and nine, so you don't get much paid out from that. So I think bankroll is now one 139, so gonna have to work on that. I think if you don't play for a while and then you sit back down and start your first few tables it always just goes crazy and I remember last week when I played I didn't make a video about it so I'll just tell you this one hand we we're very deep in the tournament I had 8k the villain had about 15k and he was kind of being table captain and one thing that I hate is when people they kind of bully so you hear in the news about someone taking advantage of someone else and I'm so self-righteous. <laughs> I just 
uh, I get so angry, I want to stick up. He's in early position, I'm in middle position. He raises his standard raise. Now don't forget, he has been raising almost every single hand. His stack is about double my stack. He raises his standard raise, I 3-bet him, he shoves, I think, you're just being a bully. <laughs> I push all in with my ace-queen off suit, he gets ace-king, and I get out of the tournament. And those coin flip situations are really, really costly, so I'm getting more of a hang of how to play ace-jack, ace-queen, ace-king, whereas before, I, I don't know what to do, shove! Fingers crossed, coin flip, poker gods, please help me. That's it from us today. We will be in Prague on Monday night. The flight is 24 hours, so I've prepared everything. I've got my knitting, I've got my cross stitching, I've got my videos, I've got my books, I've got my business plan. Uh, what else do I have? I hate sleeping on the plane because you sleep for maybe an hour and it feels like five. You wake up, are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. You still have another five hours to do fill up your time. And you can't really exercise on the plane, so yeah, we'll see. Although, one thing that I did do last time I was traveling on the plane, I went to the back and I did some, I did some dancing there. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but I just, I just need to move, especially when you're sitting down for so long. So I had my earphones in. It was at the back. Everyone else was sleeping. And so I had my earphones in, um, <laughs> doing my little thing. And that was a lot of fun. And I did some yoga as well. Nothing too crazy, no crazy stretches, but just a little bit because it's good to move the body. Good luck at the table. And we're all in this poker journey together to try and make it, so to speak. <laughs> See you.